There's a perfumer that I admire and I've been admiring for quite some time. And lately I was going through some of my fragrances to see uh, who does some of my favorite fragrances. And I realized that they are done by this one perfumer. Her name happens to be Natalie Lorson. And the first time I noticed her name was when I bought a bottle of La Légan Crenoir because I always tend to look up perfumers and their work and what they've done and if I like their style. So Natalie Lorson is one of my favorite designer fragrance perfumers. And then in this video, I've got my top five favorite designer fragrances created by Natalie Lorson. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Yeah, as I was saying, I first noticed Natalie Lorson's name when I was looking up on Crenoir. I bought that back in 2012, somewhere around there. And it was one of those fragrances that I bought because of watching fragrance reviews before I started reviewing. But it was during the time I started reviewing is when I was looking up things like that and noticing a perfumer and what they've done. So I've been following Nelly Lorson's fragrances ever since La, La Ligue en Quinoir, and I like what she does. But recently I also reviewed This Is Him by Zadigan Voltaire and I realized, okay, this is another one that's created by Natalie Lorson, and I like her style. Let's do a top five list of her fragrance that she's created, fragrances that she's created. So in this video, I'm focusing on the signature collections of uh, brands, fragrances, and I'm only focusing on designers. So I'm not f focusing on like uh, private collections or niche uh, uh, fragrances. These are ones that you can pick up for very inexpensively. You don't even have to go to the uh, suggested retail stores like department stores to buy them you can buy them at the discounters and get great deals on them so i've got five here and uh, i've left off fragrances that i have like iris drague by lancome because it's a part of their more expensive collection i also have fragrances from uh, her that's by le labo i have le labo another 13. i wanted to just leave those off because those are definitely more pricey and plus it wouldn't make a full top 10. So in this video I have top 5 and I'm starting with number 5 which is a fragrance that actually um, I discovered probably 5 years ago and I fell head over heels for it and I bought it and I loved wearing it and then I discovered their extreme version. It's called Mandarina Duck Black and then Mandarina Duck Black Extreme. Now if I had included this one in this list because I am listing this one, because this one is discontinued, sadly discontinued. This would have ranked up higher, but since we do not have this baby anymore, it's, it's, it's an amazing scent. We will go with this one. There are, they are pretty close, they're not identical. I felt the other one was a little more louder and it had more like a zest to it or something like, just not so, uh, not, I, I only use the, the word subdued. It just felt like a little closer, not, not reaching out too far. Um, but this one is all about tonka beans, a vanilla, tangerine, sandalwood, a black pepper. What a gorgeous scent. I have a comparison video on the channel comparing this to a very popular niche fragrance from the house of Zerzhov called Uden. They're very, they're, they're very close. There are differences, of course, but they come very close. Even this one comes close, and of course, this one actually also comes close to fragrances like Chanel's Allure uh, Ohm line of fragrances. Uh, I find the Tonka Bean a lot more forward in this, these two fragrances compared to Chanel's. And I like, I mean, if I had to put them against one another, Chanel Allure Ohm series versus these two from Mandarina Duck, I would certainly go with these, even though I like those a lot. Um, but the two that I really love from the Chanel collection are the uh, Eau Extreme, the Sport, and of course the Edition Blanche. But going back to this, this one's uh, such a great, great release. It's a, a great release and a great creation from Natalie Lorson that because that tonka bean just really stands out and really, really delicious. But it's also very, very nicely balanced with that tangerine note because it's big and juicy citruses but not overly tart not sharp very very well balanced and sweet at the same time along with the vanilla so it's a great great release it dries down to a sandalwood and then there's that black pepper thrown in 
so so good if you don't know this one you should definitely check it out you can get these at discounters for about thirty dollars forty dollars fifty dollars depending on where you go and i think it's a great great release from uh, natalie larson as i said if i um had the other one or if it's still sold this would have been higher but because it is um only the edt available I'm putting it at number five. So this is Mandarina Duck Black at number five. So going to number four, and this is the fragrance that I first remembered uh, or discovered uh, Nelly Larson's name, and it's La Ligue en Genoir. And in this video, I am choosing the Ala Extreme version because I love this one compared to the original. Even though the original was first purchased around 2012, 2013 for me, I was like uh, watching videos by Robes08 and um, Al, things like that and those are the guys that were mentioning if there were some other people as well that no longer produce um, YouTube reviews uh, for fragrances but they're the ones that really kind of talked me into getting that black extreme they more they didn't talk me into it they just influenced me and I loved I loved it because I was a big fan of Guerlain's vetiver and I was looking for something new and what I like about this one is the fact that it's a darker take on um, uh, a vetiver like if you were used to the Lali uh, Guerlain vetiver then this is a complete uh, different direction not as fresh and uh, just a more darker inkier take now the original comes off um, very um, I don't know something about it muted uh, comes to mind this one has this more like robust uh, like um, a reach or something uh, when you wear this one this one just is very very sexy and classy at the same time too so this one has notes of vetiver incense cypress elemi resin benzoin resin patchouli sandalwood orris lots going on with this one and this one actually even though a lot of people say the original encre noir has similarities to sycamore by chanel this one i think is a lot closer to Chanel Sycamore. If you're looking for an alternative to Chanel Sycamore, this is the one to go with right here. I I kid you not, this smells so good. It is a great, great vetiver scent. Definitely darker, definitely inkier, but I find this one not as dark and muted like the original on Noir. This one has more life to it for me, at least for me. It's a great scent. So this is La Ligue en Genoir à l'extreme, created by Natalie Lorson. Now, there's four different versions of La Ligue en Genoir, um, and all, she's created every single one of them. There's also a woman's version called Pour Elle, and of course the Sport and the original. All of them are created by Natalie Lorson. And going back to Mandarina Duck, she has done several fragrances for this house as well. These are the only two that I own from Mandarina Duck, and I love this fragrance. So at number three, going to the house of Givenchy, this fragrance and then another fragrance that's coming up after, are created in collaboration with another perfumer. Both of them, uh, both of the different fragrances have different perfumers along with her. So this is uh, Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum, and this is created by Natalie Lorson once again, along with Olivier Crest, who I'm a big fan of. He's a great, great perfumer. But this, actually, I'm choosing the Eau de Parfum in here versus the Eau de Toilette, because I, I bought the Eau de Toilette and reviewed it two or three years ago, and I was kind of, not so into it as much it was kind of a flat for me not ex exciting until this came out and i really love this one this one is delicious this is all about vanilla tolu balsam orris root patchouli black pepper lavender very very sexy fragrance there's class all over it the, the tolu balsam and the orris together are just beautiful it's sweet with vanilla there's slight powdery touches from the orris but it's very very buttery to me it also smells a bit like carrots carrot like boiled carrots which is kind of interesting because it has leathery undertones and uh boy it's a great this is a very very solid release from Givenchy in fact I had fallen out of love with Givenchy the previous series of fragrances from them didn't wow me as much but this collection is great because now they also have the cologne version which I really like as well all three of the ones in this series are created by Natalie Lorson along with Olivier Cresp anyway this is Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum if you don't know it check it out I think it's a solid release from Givenchy Givenchy is also under the LVMH umbrella which stands for Louis Vuitton Moet and Hennessy along with Dior Sephora uh, you know all these different brands under this uh, LVMH so 
there's quality there. Anyway, this is Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum at number three. Number two, going to the house of uh, Zadig and Voltaire. This is a fragrance I reviewed recently and also featured in my fall fragrances video by designers at number one. This is Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Him. This is created by Nathalie Lorsan once again, along with a perfumer by the name of Aurelien Guichard. And what do we have with this one? You, sh you should, uh, if you don't know my review, you should definitely check it out and watch uh, all about this fragrance. But this one is all about incense, it's vanilla, sandalwood, black pepper, grapefruit. Those are the only notes listed, but I get a very resiny touch with this one. And then the, I'm getting the smokiness from um, resins rather than actual the burned incense. There is a smoky touch too. And it doesn't smell like church, but it smells more like just plain smoke with resins, like a gummy resiny touch. The other thing I want to mention about this is a very dry fragrance, slightly powdery and dusty. The vanilla here is very dry. It's not a syrupy, molassesy kind of vanilla, gooey. You don't have that experience at all. It's a very, very dry and powdery kind of vanilla, along with the sandalwood. Sandalwood tends to go very creamy normally. Most fragrances I know about sandalwood goes creamy. This is ultra dusty, but it's a great fragrance. If um, uh, I think it uh, smells so good that it's going to be perfect for fall and winter wear because it's got this like heft to it, intensity that I really like. There's some mass to the fragrance and uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's big fragrance. So if you like big fragrances, then check out Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Him. This is a great a creation from Natalie Larson. In fact, she's done so many fragrances for this house and I'm going to check out more of them. I've sampled a lot of them. I just don't remember them. I've sampled them in passing while I visit France and places like that because these Zadig and Voltaire fragrances are not sold here in the, in, in the States at any stores. At least I haven't seen them. But they are at the discounters. And like I said, all these fragrances, you can get them at the discounters for great prices. Anyway, number two is Zadig and Voltaire. This is him. Uh, Zadig and Voltaire, a designer that most people don't speak about. So that's number two. Last but not least, at number one, this is a fragrance house that uh, is a, des a designer, of course. These are all designers. But this is an automobile brand. Can you guess who I'm talking about? I've spoken about this fragrance quite a bit. It's one of my favorite designer fragrances. This is Bentley for Men Intense. Love, love, love this fragrance. It's a love it, love it kind of fragrance. That's why it's at number one. Um, this is one of my top 10 designer fragrances. It's absolutely amazing the way it smells. It's delicious. With this one, you've got rum, incense, woody notes, leather, benzoin, cinnamon, pepper, and this is created by Natalie Larson all by herself. She doesn't have a joint perfumer along with her. But such a sexy scent. This one I love wearing when it's cold outside. Overspray it. Just go out. Projection. Sillage. Leave this beautiful trail and you have this one gorgeous cloud around you. It's absolutely delicious. Now this one um, is kind of sort of a copy to me. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if I want to say that word. It hints at fragrances, two different niche fragrances. One called Chambre Noir from Olfacta Studio. Another one called uh, Idol from Lupin. So there's, there, I get hints of both of them. It's almost like those two fragrances uh, along with additional notes to create this one. But it's a to die for kind of designer fragrance. If you like boozy fragrances, you must check this one out. And again, all these fragrances are at discounters. You can pick up good deals for them. And this is probably one of the best fragrances, designer fragrances ever created. I just absolutely love it. Um, this, along with several other uh, fragrances from this house, which I've sampled in Spain before. Only country that I've seen Bentley fragrances in department stores, Spain and Portugal, I believe. Uh, I don't see them sold at any stores here in the States, um, nowhere to be found. But Natalie Lorson has done many fragrances for this house, probably like seven or eight of them. And uh, apparently she's doing a great job for them. But anyway, this is Bentley for Men Intense. If you don't know this one, I'm sure you do because I've spoken about it much on the channel. Do check it out. Get yourself some samples or decans and sample them. See if what you think because I think if you like boozy fragrances, this is going to be perfect for fall or winter and even spring. Most likely it's perfect all year round. Anyway, this is Bentley for Men Intense at number one. So there you have it. That's my top five designer fragrances list that are created by Natalie Larson. Again, these are designers from their signature collections. Nothing expensive here. And of course, you can get all these fragrances at discounts. So look them up, search for the disc best discounts you can find and get them because they're great fragrances. And um, these ones are definitely um, fragrances that um, smell really original to me as far as um, uh, fragrances go. They don't like 
blend in with other similar fragrances. There is one other fragrance that I've left off the list because I didn't really enjoy it much even though I picked it up. I haven't even reviewed it because I felt like it's going to be a negative review and I don't like it. It's uh, Spice Bomb Night Vision. She did that one too. But I felt like that one kind of smells so much like a lot of other fragrances out there and I just decided to not review it. She did do that one but most likely she received a brief on that one and she stuck to it because these fragrances, even though these are designers and they all get briefs, I feel like these are more interesting fragrances. They're more unique. There's, there's niche stylings uh, behind these fragrances whereas that uh, Spice Bomb not Night Vision. Uh, don't like it at all. It's a disappointment. I love the original Spice Bomb, but I don't care for Night Vision, and I probably will never review it. But anyway, that's my list, guys. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances that were created that are created by Natalie Lorson. Are you a fan of these fragrances? Do you like them? Do you have them? Or are you planning on picking them up? Please let me know. Also, let me know if there's a fragrance out there by created by Natalie Lorson that um, uh, you like that I haven't uh, spoken about. Please do let me know so I can check it out in the future. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.